Shaquana Squad. This your girl Shaquana coming to you loud, live, and in color. Hey, my people. Hey, my people. Sorry about this. I had to pull my, pull, pull my pan down just a little bit. It was cutting off my circulation. But anyway, hi, Corner Squad. This your girl Shaquana coming to you loud, live, and in color. Hey, my people. Hey, my people. Yeah, I did it twice because I didn't do it right the first time. But anyway, that's how YouTube goes. But anyway. I hope that y'all are having a good day today. I'm just sitting here in front of my mirror, not my, my window, looking out. And like I do when I'm here by myself. And I just wanted to do this video right quick. Well, not right quick, but I want to do this video. I will be talking about the different channels that I watch. And I'm going to tell you why I watch the channels that I watch. Okay. I'm going to start with the eating channels first. I watch B-Love's Life. I, I first saw B-Love when she was at Buffalo Wild Wings. She was eating the Scorpion Run Wings at Buffalo Wild Wings. I did not even know that it was B-Love. To be honest with you, I just seen a lady with a blonde wig on and blue lipstick. I'm like, who is this lady? Wearing blue lipstick with a blonde wig. So I'm sitting up there and I'm actually watching the video and I'm like, oh my God, she finna burn herself from the inside out. So I'm sitting up there just watching her eat the wings and the wings are so good. I mean, they look, I ain't gonna say they good because I've never eaten them. I cannot eat extremely spicy food. Due to the fact that I have acid reflux, so yeah, I cannot eat spicy food. It's extremely spicy food. But anyway, the wings look so delicious. I'm like, oh my God, I want to eat those, but they are too hot. But she made them look so good. And the more she ate them, I could tell they were just getting hotter and hotter and hotter and hotter. I said, well, I... I like watching this, even though that was just one video. So, I ended up watching another video of hers where it was her and her older son, Davin, Zaddy Chunk Chunk. And, um, I forgot what it was that she was eating, but it was a mukbang that she was, you know, I, I cannot remember what it was that she was eating, but it was her and her oldest son, Dalvin, a.k.a. Zaddy Chunk Chunk, go to his channel. I'm going to talk about his channel in another video. But, um, yeah, um, like I said, she had her oldest son in the video. She was eating some food, and it looked so good. And I love watching her videos because whatever she eating, it always looked good, and it's never cold. She enjoy her food. She enjoy eating whatever it is she eating. And, you know, she makes the food. I mean, like I, when I tell you she makes whatever she eating looks good, she makes it look so good and just so appetizing. Like, and then it, 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 it make you mad because you sitting up there eating on the empty, I mean, you sitting up there watching on the empty stomach. You wish you had something to eat. <coughs> and then you're mad with yourself because you should have got you something to eat before you turned the video on. Because you knew you was going to be hungry, but you, your mind just wasn't thinking. Because you just didn't got the notification that she done popped up another video. But she done uploaded another video. So you click on it real quick and you want to watch it. And the whole time you sitting up there licking your dog on computer screen or your cell phone screen. Because you done made yourself so hungry. From watching the videos. That's how her videos are. When I tell you she got videos of food that would just make you just want to reach out and slap somebody. Because that's just how good the food looks. And then she is with her family. when she Sometimes sometimes she does mukbangs with her family. And she, does, she do a lot of challenges. She do a lot of challenges. But let's talk about... The food for right now. She 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 eats chicken. Oh, she loves crab legs. 
uh, lost tail, mussels, cl uh, uh, clams, potatoes, <coughs> and she has her own smackalicious sauce that she has made. She she got the recipe on her channel. And if you cannot take a lot of spicy in your in your sauces, you can tweak it the way you want it. It, it ain't got to be spicy at all. Or it can be extremely spicy. She got the recipe on her channel. I will make sure that I find the link to her channel. And I will put it in the description box. So that way that y'all can go straight on over to her channel. From my description box. And check out her channel. I will put the, the link to her to her uh, smackalicious sauce. I, I will find that link. I will put that link in my description box. So that way that y'all can find the sauce, the, the recipes to the sauce. Um, but like I said, she she makes her own sauce. And like I said, you can tweak it any way that you want to tweak it. And y'all, her, and, and, then when it's, and then when it's not the whole family, if it's just her and her husband, oh my God, nah, 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 that's when the comedy really comes in. Because when I tell you, when her and her husband do mukbangs together, it be, it, it's informative. Because they be eating, they be talking, and they be spitting wisdom to you sometimes on their videos. And then sometimes they just be having conversations with each other as husband and wife. And I love that about their channel. Because they are just a normal couple here on YouTube. And... Y'all, I'm uh, and before Mama B even said that when Nate gets full, he gets goofy and gets giddy. I already knew that because when that, cause once that man gets full and his food kicks in, y'all, I be sitting up there holding my stomach because I be laughing so hard at Nate. Like I, I just. I en I enjoy watching them. They are so funny to me when they are just the two of them. Cause I I enjoy watching a couple that really love each other, have that <coughs> still have that fire for each other, have that affection, that 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 camaraderie with, with with one another. They still love each other as if it was when they first met and they first got married. That's what I see when I look at. Mama B and uh, Nate. I call her Mama B. I, I, it's just I call her Mama B. I'm, I'm, I can't help myself. I call her Mama B, even though we're not that far in age. Okay, we probably a couple years far from each other in age, but uh, I still call her Mama B. But um, yeah, I love watching them do mukbangs because they they mukbangs end up being funny somehow. They don't plan it; it just happens. Especially when Mama B do the seafood boils with her son Dalvin, aka Zaddy Chunk Chunk. Y'all, let me tell you something: the first seafood boil that they did together, it was. So hilarious to me. I and I I laughed. I look. I couldn't help myself. I had to. I had, to, I had a little chuckle. Okay. Um, this was Devin's first time doing a mukbang with his mom on on YouTube, and everything was going fine. He was he was learning how to open up the the um uh, crab legs and everything. You know, he was he was getting into it. And close to the end of the video, Mama B went to pick up the plate, and the 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 the, the glass plate that had the the sauce that he was eating it just fell off the bigger the bigger plate, and it just made a complete mess. I don't know how it happened. He don't. It just it's just a freak accident. But y'all, the way that they was looking when it fell, I was like, ooh, my God. Like a mess just happened, but it. I mean, I laugh at the videos when there's something funny to laugh at. That was funny to me. I got a, I got a chuckle out of it because I was like, they got to clean all of that up. 
somebody got to clean all of that up and, and ooh, I know it had to be a mess. And I hope that the glass did not break. Okay, now the challenges, oh my God, they're, when they do challenges, they go in on the challenges. They've done the warhead. I've done the warhead. Okay, the warhead challenge. Now, that was funny. Slob and saliva and just funny faces everywhere. My favorite one was when they did the ghost pepper challenge. Oh, my God. Dalvin had me hollering. Okay? Because he had already ate a ghost pepper, so he already knew what it tasted like. The family just did not know what they were in for. But y'all, once it got heated, Devin said, I'm gone. And he got up, and y'all, I just died the way he got up and just going. I mean, and then they were playing ping pong with the ice cream. Y'all, it, 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 it got, it got real. It got really real. And then they did the, uh, the toe of Satan. Wow. The toe of Satan. I thought I thought the toe of Satan put Davin out of commission. Like, yeah. It, it yeah, I thought it yeah, I thought it was gonna put Davin out of commission. I thought it was gonna put Darius out of commission. I knew Mama B was gonna be able to handle it. I knew Nate was gonna be able to handle it. But between Davin and Darius, I did not know who was going to tap out, who was going to be like, forget this, I'm done. I did not know who was going to tap out first. But y'all, that toe of Satan, it got Davin, but it didn't get Davin too bad. It didn't get him too bad, but it got him. But the one that really, really concerned me was the one chip challenge. That, pa, pa, however you say the P A Q U I, however you say that chip, let me tell you something. That chip will kill you. I'm just gonna look, or oh, it's gonna make you feel like you about to die, won't die. Okay? But, um, they had, instead of had one chip, they had two chips. They had the two chips, y'all. Two freaking chips. <coughs> and Dalvin had ate the first chip. Then he wanted to be big, bad, and bold and put his mama's hot sauce. Oh, she got some hot sauce too, y'all. But um, he wanted to put his mama's hot sauce on top of the chip, and the chip is already hot. So he wanted to make the chip hotter. Y'all, why? Why he do that? When, when I tell you I got concerned. I got concerned as the video started progressing because Davin was talking about his breathing. I'm like, ooh, what happened? Like, what's going on? And but 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 I'm gonna tell you the funny part about the whole thing was was when Darius, oh my god, y'all, Darius had me peeing on myself. That let me tell you something, Darius. Went to hollering. I'm like, because I, cause when, cause when I first heard the screaming, I'm like, why is Mama B screaming like that? But then I realized it was Darius screaming. Y'all, let me tell y'all something. I, I, I shared that video with my friends on, uh, but through text message. I just copied the link and posted the link in my text messages. And send it to friends. I said, I need y'all to watch this right here, y'all. I need y'all to watch this. When I tell you, my friends hit me back and said, oh, my God, that was funny. Why would they do that? I, I laughed so bad at Darius. I knew Darius was in so much pain. But I, I laughed because Darius don't be having it, y'all. And I just laughed so so doggone bad. I could not help myself. It, it, oh my God. It was just so funny to me to actually see 
Darius and hear Darius screaming. And I thought it was his mama at first. But I kept looking at her like, no, she ain't screaming. And it ain't Dalvin. And it ain't his daddy. So, I'm like, I know Darius is not screaming like that. But Darius was screaming his head off. I'm like, oh, my God. That, that child, Lord have mercy. He is a character. I love seeing Darius. He is so funny to me. A lot of people say some jacked up stuff about Darius. I don't like it. I sometimes I when I be doing when I be watching her videos, and if she got Darius in the video with her, and people say stuff about Darius, I I I have to speak up sometimes too because that's somebody's child, and I don't think it's cool for, for grown folk to say what they say to a child. Okay, and I know that his parents and him and he can speak up for himself, but it's just that 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 older person in me that just want to speak up for him and be like, y'all are so wrong. This is a child. Y'all shouldn't be saying half the stuff that y'all saying. Like, really? And then some of the questions that they be asking about. Like, it's none of your business. I'm not going to repeat any of the questions that he is, is e well, that, that is even asked about him. But, to me, it's not cool. And I have spoken up. I have told people that, you know, that's not cool. That's a child. He's 16 years old. Do not do that. That's not right. If you have children, how would you want, how would you feel if somebody asked the same questions about your child? That's how I feel about it. Don't do something to somebody's child that you won't want done to your own. That's how I see it. That's how I've always seen it. And I may not know them personally, but I watch the videos. I love watching B Love's life and her family. It is, I mean, it's a pleasure to watch them because they, they, they get. A, I mean, they are so loving to one another, and they are so funny. When they are hanging around with each other. Like, I mean, it is so cool. But like I said, the challenges that they've done. They've done the the wing challenge together. They've done the spicy noodle challenge together. They've done the chubby bunny challenge together. The bean boozer challenge together. Challenge together. I mean, they've done some challenges together. And I know they got some more coming. So I can't wait. To see those challenges because it is going to be good. Now, Mama B and, and Nate, they did the 42-ounce steak challenge. Can you guess who won? Can you guess? Can you guess? Can you guess? Can you guess? If you, if you think you know who won between Mama B, well, B Love Life, and Nate, tell me who you think won in, my, in, in the comment section if you think you know who won. The wife or the husband? Who do you think won? And I will tell you in another video who won. I sure will. I will tell you who won. Because I guess that who won and who I thought won, but who I thought would win did not win. So, yeah. But anyway, um, but yeah, they do challenges. They do vlogs occasionally. They, mukbangs is a big thing and she also do wig reviews on her channel so if you like to see that whether you're a guy or a girl go check out the reviews on the wigs cause she got some beautiful wigs y'all I mean when I say they're some beautiful wigs they are some beautiful wigs and I, I, I and I wouldn't mind wearing a wig y'all cause when, some, sometime ladies y'all know Y'all don't be want to do your half some time. You just want to just stick a wig on your head and go on about your business. I have them days. But I don't go nowhere to even put on a wig. But anyway. Yeah. But I just wanted to go. I just wanted to come on here. And I just wanted to tell y'all about this channel. Just in case that y'all have not heard of Be Love Life. You know, uh, but yeah, some of that. Y'all need to y'all need to go on over to her channel and watch her channel because it is so much fun. 
to watch, especially if you love to watch mukbangs. I mean, her mukbangs are off the chain. The challenges are off the chain. The reviews are off the chain. I wouldn't endorse anybody's channel if I didn't watch it myself. If, if, if I don't watch a person's channel, you would never hear me talk about their channel. You would never hear me mention their channel if I don't watch it, okay? I'm not faking phony like that because I watch people's channels. And I would want the people... I would want people to support my channel and shout my channel out if they watched my channel. You know what I'm saying? So I, I'm I'm shouting their channel out because I watch. I'm a loyal follower. I'm a loyal watcher of the channel. So you know I like I said I love watching the channel, and I just wanted to give them a shout out and let people know about the channel for people who don't know about their channel. You know, I just wanted to, you know, let people know about it. Whew, pants is a little too tight. Okay, but anyway, like I said, I just wanted to shout the channel out. Shout them out. Uh, let y'all know about them. About the family, the fam bam. She calls it. But, uh, yeah, I watch B Loves Life. And Nate has a channel. Man in the House. Darius has a channel. Is Darius. And Dalvin has a channel called Daddy Chunk Chunk. I will, I will put all of their channels down below in the description box so you can go over to their channels and watch and enjoy like I do. And tell me what you think of their channels after you watched. Let them know that you that I sent you to their channels. Now let me tell you something now. Let me tell you something now. Before you even let me look, before you even go over to their channels, do not go over to their channels being disrespectful and then telling them that I sent you. Cause I got a good name here on YouTube, y'all. I my name is not bad. Here on YouTube. So don't go over to B Love's Life's channel being disrespectful and, and saying I'm the one that sent you. Don't do that. Cause she ain't gonna believe you no way. She she ain't gonna believe you no way. Don't go over to Is Darius channel and say I sent you. Okay. Don't go over to a man in the house and tell Nate that I sent you and you being disrespectful. Don't go over to these channels. Say, I sent you, and then you being disrespectful. Don't do that now, because they gonna tell me. Don't go over to Zaddy Chunk Chunk's channel being disrespectful, and then saying, I sent you. Because for one thing about it, Zaddy Chunk Chunk ain't gonna believe I sent you to his channel, and you, and told you to be disrespectful. He gonna call you out on your life that, 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 that you're telling. Because he know I'm not disrespectful. He know I would not send people over to his family's channels and tell the people to be disrespectful. He's going he's gonna to go come for y'all. He's going to tell y'all about y'all selves. So don't put my name out there as if I'm sitting up here being petty and being disrespectful and being missing to his family. Because they already know that's not me, especially Mama B. Mama B know I am not a disrespectful person. Because I come to her channel and I show her the utmost respect on her channel. If it's something that she's doing that I don't like on her channel, you will never, ever hear me say anything about it. But there's nothing on her channel that she has done that I don't like, okay? She has good food. She she, she brings the humor. She brings the funny with her family. So, you know, what, what what's there not to like, you know? So... Like I said, don't go over to these channels being disrespectful, y'all, because don't put my, please don't put my name right there like that. But see, I ain't got anywhere. I, like I said, I have nothing to worry about. I have nothing to to fret about because I already know that if you come to Be Love Life channel or if you come to Zaddy Chunk Chunk channel, 
they is not gonna believe that I sent you there to be disrespectful. They not gonna believe that now. Nah. No, nope, nope, nope. So you can't put my name out there like that with them two. Nope, and don't even try it. Cause it ain't gonna go well for you now, y'all. Just go over there and have fun. And have a good time with the channel. Be respectful, y'all. That's all I'm asking. Just be respectful. Just be respectful. But if you made it to the end of my video, y'all, put "Be Love Life" all one word in the comment section. Comment down below and tell me what you think about this video. And like I always say at the end of all my videos, have fun playing with your nails if you wear nails or if you're growing your own. Have fun playing with your makeup if you wear makeup or you're just not learning how to use it. And y'all, please live life because God only gives you one. Oh, one more thing. Another thing, when B, when, when Mama B do, does mukbangs, now sometimes she belch in her videos. She belch in her videos. So if that's not what you like to hear, when you watching mukbangs, just pass on by her channel. She'll never know you came. She'll never know you ever watched. But just don't be disrespectful. Bye, y'all.